Hey guys, it's X here with the Network Tutorials, and today we're going to model a 3D shotgun in Cinema 4D. You'll find products that hopefully look something similar to this. So yeah, let's get started. File new, and the first thing you're going to need is a reference image of a shotgun. So here I have a trench gun image right here, as you can see. So yeah, um, you definitely want a side view. You could also have a front view to help like scale it to the correct size, like the correct width. But I'm just gonna use just a side view for this one. But if you really want to, you can also have a front view as well. So yeah, let's get started. You want to click on the scroll wheel, the little middle thing on your mouse, and then come to the front view and click on the scroll wheel again. And that way you can load an image up by coming to mode, view settings, come to the back, and then load up an image. So find your trench gun right here and now we have our reference image so let's get started the first thing you're going to want to probably do is get the easy stuff out of the way like the barrel so to do that we'll click and hold on this cube and add a tube we'll put the orientation to plus x so it's facing the correct direction and then we'll scale it down so like we want it really small let's move it into position why wouldn't it let me move it? I don't know. Whatever. We'll just move it this way. So that's a little too big. So we'll scale it down some more. Something like that. And then we're going to scale it in just one direction. And in order to do that, what you want to do is come over here and click on this tool. It's just like a corner piece right below the corner piece with a triangle. And that way it lets you scale it just one axis, or axes, or whatever you want to pronounce it as. So we're just going to stretch it on the, what would that be, the X axis? X or Z? I know, I'm not British, but I just like saying Z, it's funner than saying Z. So yeah, we'll just tighten that up a little bit more, stretch it out some more. <coughs> and then we'll move it over a little bit more. And that looks good, let's see how it looks in the main view. Um, looking pretty good, except for the, there's one problem. We need to definitely increase the inner radius, because it's way too small right now, so... Oopsie, I kind of moved it over a little bit. So that looks pretty good. Actually, we'll move it up just a little bit more. Seven? Yeah, seven looks pretty good. Because there's no way a shotgun shot could come out of that tiny little area. So yeah, we got this nice little tube going on, nice little barrel. So next up, we'll add this little under barrel thing. I don't really know what to call it. But first, we're going to rename this because you always want to keep track of what your items are. So we'll just call it barrel. So yeah, next up, we'll do this little under thing. So we'll add a cylinder for that and put that to plus X axis and then move it over. We'll move it right there. We're going to do a little pump action part later. So don't worry about scaling it to that dimension just yet. So something like that, then we'll just stretch it out on just the X or Z axis again. Let's center this up. And that looks pretty good. So as you can see now, we have this little under barrel part and our barrel itself. So we'll just call this under barrel. And next up is going to be copying and pasting the underbarrel. Hit Control C and then Control V, and we're going to skinny this up because we're going to be making the pump action part. Scale it up, something like that. Just make it skinnier. Let's see how that looks. Looking good, looking good. Got to make sure that these are connected, which they are not. So what we're going to do is, hmm, how could we, which way should we do it? We can scale that up just a little bit more. Scale this one up just a little bit more. And that looks pretty good. So yeah, next up is going to be adding this little handle part. So in order to do that, we're going to add a cube. And we're just going to move the cube over. Oopsie, no, move the cube over. Kind of center it up, like around there, and then make it skinnier, like around there. Stretch it out a little bit, and that looks pretty good. What we're going to do next is make it editable by clicking on the two little spheres with two arrows up here. You just click on that. Then come to this little point selection tool, the one that's kind of like a grid with three points on it. 
right click and come to the knife tool or you could just hit K on your keyboard and you want to change the mode down here to loop and then you want to start making some knife cuts so like right here, 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 and here you basically need to do this in order to kind of like morph these edges to fit so then come up here to the selection tool and change it to the square selection tool and just start centering these points up well not centering but making them so it kind of like fits oh crap sorry before you do that you have to make sure while you're on the selection tool you turn off only select visible elements you want that to be off or else it will not select the back point so sorry about that but yeah then you just want to start lining these points up with kind of the outline of the gun so it's pretty simple here it can be a little bit tedious depending on how complex the gun is but we have a pretty easy shape here, it's just like a kind of curvy square, so it shouldn't be too difficult. So there we go, we're done with the top already. And then this bottom part looks pretty good actually, I'm not going to mess with that too much. So if I down here it needs a little bit of tweaking. So that looks pretty good actually, um, let's move that up just a little bit more. like so so there we go we're looking pretty good so far except for that looks a little too thick for my taste so we're gonna um, come to the selection tool and select all the points and then just skinny it up so something like that looks pretty good I think alright so we'll just call this base because it's like the base of the gun so I don't really know the technical terms for all this stuff but just call it whatever you want just so you know what it is. Next up we'll be doing this little part right here, this little like cutout part. So in order to do that we'll add another cube. We'll kind of move that up right around there. Center it, or skinny it up I should say. Something like that. Move it up just a little bit more and make it a little bit skinnier. And then stretch it out. Oopsie, make sure you have the tool that just makes it go on one axis and stretch it out. So, like, that looks pretty good. And then we're going to want to move this over. And then what you're going to want to do is come up here and select a bool, I think is what it's called. And drag the base of the gun and the cube you just made under it. And make sure the base is above the cube. And that'll make it cut out. So as you see here, we have that nice little cutout part. So we're going to rename the bool that we just made to base, because that's our new base of the gun. And there we go, we're looking good so far. Let's see, up next, we could do the trigger, but I'm going to do this back part of the gun first, because that'll probably end up being easier. So we'll just do the same thing we did for this part. We'll just add a cube, move the cube over, size it down, and stretch it out. Oopsie. Stretch it out. Kind of like this. And move it up just a little, and then maybe make it a little bit taller. And that looks pretty good. So we're going to make this editable. Right click and go to the knife tool. Once you have the point selection selected, right click, knife loop should still be selected and then you just want to make a bunch of knife cuts for this one because there's going to be a lot of little editing so I'm making quite a few knife cuts and that should be good and now you just gotta start modeling the gun just like before so this is going to be more difficult because the points are going to be a lot more spread out because they're going to be all over the place so just try your best to find all the points and put them in the right position So kind of like right there, put this one right there, this one there, so it's not too complicated, it's just kind of boring, but you know what, oh well. If you want an interesting thing to do, go jump off a cliff or something, I don't know. So just keep modeling these up sizing them up, whatever you want to call it, putting them in the right position. So 
So there we go, and now we gotta come up here and do the top ones. Do 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 do. Getting there, getting there, almost done. Probably about three fourths of the way done. So yeah, um, I really have nothing to talk about because all we're doing is just putting points where they need to be. So yeah. And that looks good. Let's see what we have. There we go. Looking nice. We're going to have to make that a lot skinnier as well. So just select all the points again. Scale it down. One this one will just be a little bit thicker, I think. It would look nicer. So just maybe make that even a little bit thinner. We just want that a little bit thicker than the last one. So that looks pretty good, I think. Actually, let me see. Yeah, see, it's a little bit thicker, but I think we did that too thick, so we're just going to do that a little bit and we'll fix it up. We just want it to be just sticking out past it. So that should be good. There we go, I like that. And as you see, if we render this, you can't really see too much of a difference. You just see that little bit of a line, so... And that's what the picture looks like, so that's what I was going for. You can see the different color. Once we add the color in, it shouldn't be too big of a deal, but I don't even know if we are going to add color in this tutorial, but yeah. Next up is going to be adding the trigger and part around the trigger, so actually we should probably call this the, I think it's called the stock, I don't know, but that's what I'll call it. Stock. And then what you want to do is come up here to the tool, the square tool, cube tool, whatever you want to call it, and add a polygon. And then you want to right click, oh you want to make it editable, then right click, what the heck, right click, and hit add point. Then you want to zoom into where this little trigger area is, we're going to do the part around the trigger first. You want to control click on each side of it, like this, and then just start masking, not really masking, but like outlining the shape of it. So yeah, this process is going to take quite a long time because we also have to bridge all the points. And then we're going to have to re-bridge all the points. So this is a pretty tedious process, but oh well. It'll end up looking okay. I don't know if there's a better way of doing this, so if anyone knows a better way of doing this, leave a comment below. And I will be greatly appreciative if your way actually works. So there we go. Then you want to right click and hit bridge and then just start bridging all the points so it starts right here and then you just want to bridge all these points up make sure you always go from like bottom to top or left to right because if you go from the other way it won't bridge correctly it'll be like a cross bridge and it won't look good so just make sure you always if you start from the bottom always start from the bottom for the next bridge probably just confused you guys but hopefully you get what I'm saying and that looks pretty good let's see what we have Oh, and if you get this weird polygon thing right here, just select all the points and delete them. That just happens when you add a polygon shape to it. So yeah, what we're going to do is copy and paste the polygon. Just select all the points, copy and paste, and move it over. Something like that. And then what you want to do is select both these polygons. Just hold shift and click on the second one. Right click and hit connect and delete. Um, where is that? Uh, connect and delete. And then you want to right click and come to bridge, oopsie, yeah, bridge, and just start bridging all these points up. And make sure you select the outer points and not the inner points, or else your bridge won't look good, so. Yeah, just start bridging up all these points. Um, like this. Yet again, another tedious process, but you know what I'm I'm gonna do it just to show you guys if anyone knows how to bridge all these points like automatically leave a comment as well because that would be really helpful because I don't know there probably is a way but I just don't know it so yeah we're getting there almost halfway done
you may have to move the points down a little just and then you can move it back up when you're done but you may have to do that just to get all the points let's see and then let's see if we can get a top view of this like right there wait did I mess up right there it looks like I did alright so let's try this again sorry if you messed up you have to redo the last bridge you did so no connect that to that and then what did I just do tomorrow I moved it back up that's just great So just keep on adding the points. Um, let's see if I can get a good angle on that. And we're a little over half done now. We have to come back and do this whole side. Kind of unfortunate, but you know what? Oh well. So yeah, I really have nothing to talk about because all I'm doing is bridging points. So yeah. Hmm. Let's see, what could I talk about? So, bridges, I heard you walk on them. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm talking about. Oh, jeez, I don't know if that was supposed to be a joke or what, but whatever it was, it failed. Oh, I messed up there, so just undo it. Nope, undo again. I'm messing up on this last point, kind of unfortunate. And we're done, finally. And now you can just move this back up. We'll come back to the side view and move it up. So right around there. And then we're going to need to come to this view right here and center it up. So that looks pretty centered to me, exactly. Yeah, right around there. And there we go, we have our nice looking shotgun so far. P looking pretty snazzy. So we have to add the trigger next, and then I think that's about it, isn't it? Let's see. We might add the color and we might add the texture, I don't really know, but... Because this has some weird texture to it, and there's some little stuff on the front that we could always add, but... I don't know. We'll see what we get to. So you want to come way down here and add a cube again, cause for the little trigger. The cube's going to be way too big, but... Just size it down. Skinny it up. Maybe make it a tad bit bigger. Skinnier. And move it into position. And then make it editable. Let's see. Editable. Point tool. Right click. Knife. You know how to do it by now. And just add some knife cuts. It's going to be kind of tedious as well because of all the knife cuts I just added, but. You know, if you want to look nice, you have to add more hard work for you. So let's see here. Like, let's just undo that, because I think I messed that up pretty bad. Move that over there. Move that up there. So just try your best to outline this trigger. It probably won't end up looking too good, but I didn't feel it. You could just do the same process I did for the outer part of the trigger, the thing that surrounds the trigger, but I figured this way would probably be a little bit quicker and easier, so I don't know if that guess was right, because this is actually going to take quite a long time, but you never know, you never know. So we're almost done on this side. And that looks good. And then we're going to have to start doing this side. Looking pretty good so far. Let's see. Right there. Great there oopsie 
right there and right there and we're done with that finally that actually didn't take as long as I thought it would but as you can see that does not look too nice it's way too thick so we're just going to select all the points and make it a lot skinnier come to this view right here skinnier kinda like that and I just realized this point isn't centered so we're gonna move that over just a little bit now it looks better so one thing I like to do is add a hypernerbs and drag the little trigger thing we just made under it it kinda gives it a nice curved look to it as you can see um, I wonder what happened if we drag this one under it huh that looks nicer actually Except for the fact that it's way too short now, but... Actually, no, I don't really like it on that one, so we'll just do it for just the trigger. So we'll call this part right here... We'll call it... Round Trigger. And we'll call it the trigger... We'll just call that trigger, obviously. And there we go. Okay, never mind. We messed up. That is way too short. So we're going to come to the point selection tool and just select both these points right here. If I can. Why won't it let me select this point there? And we'll also select the back points. And then we'll just move that up. There we go. That looks better. Kind of looks a little bit goofy because of it, how it cuts out right there. But, you know, it looks okay. You can't even notice it when you zoomed out. Let's see how it looks when you render it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So, let's see, what should we do next? I guess we could add textures. Um, let's see. That one needs to be moved over a little bit. I'm just going to fix up some of these points a little bit on this part. There we go, that'll probably look a little bit better. Yeah, there we go. And then, what else did I mess up on? The stock is a little too low. That should be moved up higher. We want to kind of fit perfectly with the shape of this. So just a little bit further. And that looks good right there. Let's see from the other side. The other side looks perfect. Not perfect, but pretty good. So yeah, let's see, what should we do next? I guess we'll start adding the colors and textures, so... I'm just gonna use probably some preset ones, so... Load Manager, um, we'll come to... Prime, Materials... Background, no, I don't want backgrounds... Basic, we'll take Wood and see how that looks... That looks horrible, so we'll delete that one... Load a new one up, we want kind of like a darker wood color... Let's see, wood five. Um, no, that's way too bright. Can we darken it up a little bit? Let's see, brightness. Okay. Specular color, maybe that'll be it. No, specular. I'm just trying to darken every color I can find. Oopsie, we'll just undo that. Um, bump? Is that what we need? No, that was good how it was. Um, why, what is going to adjust the brightness of it? Because... There we go, that looks better. Something like that, we'll see how that looks. Okay, that doesn't look too good, we'll just try to find a different color. Um... Prime, Materials, Basic, we'll take Wood 10. What the heck is that? <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Why can't I just find a nice wood color? What if I come up here, come to Window, and come to, um, what is it? Gotta remember what this is called. Additional Scene Stuff, no, what do I have to go to? There's a certain thing that allows you to view all the text view texture view? No, new texture view. I don't want that. New view panel. 
layout. Sorry about this. Um, what is it called? Project main render queue script manager console structure builder content browser. That's what you want. Content browser. So come to the content browser. Wait for it to load up. And then come to presets, and then prime, and then materials, basic. Then you can try to find a darker wood. Like, that one might work. Let's see how that looks. Just drag that out, and quick render that. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty similar. I like that. Alright, so, we need to have the wood texture be on this little pump part. And then the rest of this is kind of like a chromey color, so let's quick look at this. Yeah, that's looking nice. So now we have to hit F8 on our keyboard to come back to the... Oh, okay, maybe not F8. What was that button? I thought it said F8. Oh, Shift F8 is how to get the content browser. Oh, well. Let's see, we don't really want stone. Maybe a metal? We kind of want like a faded metal, so... Marble metal... Let's see how this one looks. Let's drag that out. Drag it every little spot that you can think of. Got to add it to the trigger. Got to add it to the barrel, the under barrel, and let's preview this. There we go. That is looking nice. I like it. Look at this. It's looking pretty good. Alright, so, let's see what else we can add. Um, this little texture, I'm not really sure how we could do that, um... Let me think. Let's see... Huh, for that little spot... How could we add all those little circles? Um... There is a way that we could do it, but that would be really long and tedious, so I'm trying to think if there's any easier way to do it. <laughs> How could we do this? I guess we could do it the long and tedious way. So what we're going to do is add a... Um, we're just going to duplicate the barrel. Control C, Control V. We're going to skinny it way up. And make it a little bit thicker. We don't want too much thicker, just a little bit and then stretch it the whole length of the thing it goes to about there then we can move it over so right around there looks pretty good actually do we really want to do all that I mean we don't need to it's just optional so huh I don't really think we need to do that I guess we'll just do this little bit of texture up here this stuff right here so in order to do that I think the easiest way to do this would okay, we'll just call this around barrel. Okay, didn't capitalize. Around barrel. Just so it has that little thicker spot right around the end of the barrel, which is how it looks in the picture. So actually we should probably stretch that out the whole length of it then if we're gonna do that. Kinda like there, and then just a little bit skinnier. Perfect. Alright, so we're going to add a cube. Move the cube over. And then we're going to skinny this way up. Right around there and stretch it. No, I don't want it to scale uniform. I just want it to scale on this axis. Right around there looks good. Let's see. Now we're going to make it editable, come to the point tool, right click, go to the knife, you know how to do this already, so just make some knife cuts. And then we're going to need to make a knife cut on this side, like right here. And then you can start editing these points. So if I move all three of these over a little bit, then move this one down. Move that one to the corner. This one has to be over, down a little bit. So right now I'm just trying to line these points up the best I can. We'll select all of these up to about here and move them all up. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. I don't want to. There we go. Perfect. 
So we'll select these three points and move them over and up a little. This point will move into position. This one we can move up. These points we can use later if we need to, so we'll just move them up for now. Move these all up. Ah, I keep forgetting I can't zoom in or else I get it all too many lines. So just kind of line this up the best you can. Doesn't have to be perfect as I've said before. We're going to add one more knife cut here, right here. Just so we can do this a little bit better. Heck, we'll need to add a couple more knife cuts. There we go. Alright. Move it up. And then move this one kind of over here. Then we're going to need to move this point way down here. Up to there. Move this point over to here. And then we're going to need to add another knife cut. Right click knife. We just want a knife cut right here. And then we'll add another one right there. And then let's see if we can fix this up a little bit better. Kind of move that into position right there. Then we'll need another knife cut. Gosh darn it, this is going to take forever at this rate. We'll just add two more knife cuts just to be safe. There we go, that looks good. Let's see what we have. All right, that is way too thick. So we'll just skinny that way up. Something kind of like that, I'm thinking. Let's see. We don't really need to cut that part out, but that part in the front is supposed to be way more circular, so... In order to do that, how could we do that? Actually, I don't think we really need to do that. It looks fine how it is. Let's just apply our texture to it. Quickly render this out. Why is that so much brighter? If you get a different angle on it. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Um, actually, I don't know if we really... I don't know if I like that part. If you don't like that, you can just delete that. I personally don't really like it, but I'm not going to delete it either. It's because I just spent all that time on it, so... Yeah, we pretty much have this perfect, I think. Well, not perfect, but pretty good for 33 minutes of work. Which isn't very much, considering gun modeling usually takes hours and hours and hours and days to get it perfect. So, for the amount of time we spend, I think it looks pretty good, except for... I really don't like that. I'm going to delete it. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. I think we are done. So, yeah, it's by no means perfect, but... I kind of like that texture on the handle right there. Let's see if we can get a render of that. Yeah, it makes it kind of look old and choppy, kind of. But if you view it from this angle, it looks nice and fresh, so... It's kind of a cool texture. So yeah, other than that, I think we are done. Thanks for watching. If you have any other requests for tutorials or any other guns you'd like me to show you how to model, just leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as possible, hopefully, and maybe make a tutorial for you. Other than that, thanks for watching, and see you guys later. Peace.